so much to learn about It'll make you want to shout Blippi! Today, we're at Ranch at the Pier. In Malibu, California. Yeah, <laughs> here they have a lot of fruits and vegetables. Yeah, look, oh, these look really yummy. Yeah, look, a really small watermelon. Yep, and here's a really small lemon. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Ooh, and some really spicy peppers. <laughs> Very hot. <laughs> oh. Wow, all of this produce is making me a little hungry. Yeah, me too. Oh, look. Popsicles! Yummy! Whoa! Mika! Hey! Whoa! Hey, Julia! Hi, Blippi. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you! Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> so what's Mom and Pop Shop? So we sell all natural popsicles made with fresh fruits and vegetables. Ooh, that sounds good. They are. Do you want to try one? <laughs> yes, yeah. please! Oh, no! I'm so sorry we just ran out. They're so popular today. Oh. Hmm. Okay. What do we do now? Let me think. I got an idea. How about we go to the ranch and pick fresh fruits and vegetables and you guys make your own popsicle. That's a good idea. Yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Great, I'll meet you up there. Okay. Let's go. You made it. Yeah. Yes, too. This is a beautiful ranch. Isn't it? It's remarkable. Did you know that they rescued 150 animals and it's environmentally friendly? Wow. Oh, 150 animals? That's a lot of animals. Yeah, it sure is. Yep. What does environmentally friendly mean? Well, nothing gets wasted at the ranch. So all of the vegetables that get sold at the pier, if there's any left over, they feed them to the animals and then the animals nutrients the soil and then the plants grow from the soil. Wow, cool. Very cool. Wait, so this ranch has fruits and vegetables? Hey, that's what we can use for the popsicles, right? Absolutely. So I have some baskets here where you could explore the ranch and get some fruits and vegetables okay. for your popsicles. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> but do you know who else loves vegetables? Who? The horses. What? Horses? Oh, yeah, go ahead and feed some horses while you're here. We can <laughs> feed some horses? That's so fun. Let's do it. All right, yep. see you see later. Thanks, Julia. Woo! So excited to feed the animals. Me too. All Look right. At those beautiful horses. Wow. Hello, friend. How are you? My name's Flippy. Would you like an apple? Ooh, there a nice go. and healthy snack. All right, there you go. There's one behind you, Ooh, too, there you go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Wow! Oh. Do you like carrots? Oh, yeah. There you go. I think that's a yes. <laughs> wow. Hey, Mika, look! Whoa. They even have alpacas! Hey! Whoa, they're Whoa. so cute! Whoa! <laughs> oh, there you go. Aww. Are those carrots yummy? Whoa! Wow, they're such healthy eaters. Yeah. Ooh, there you go. Oh, you should Still probably chewing. chew and then swallow all your food before the next <laughs> bite. <laughs> Whoa, wow. was that yummy? Yeah, I, think so. I guess so. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun feeding those animals. Yeah. <laughs> now I think we can find some ingredients to make popsicles. Oh, yeah. Fruits and vegetables. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Flippy, what? I have a great idea. What, Mika? What if we made popsicles for each other? <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah, I can pick out ingredients that I know you'll like. <laughs> and I'll pick out ingredients that you will probably like. Oh, OK. <laughs> Let's right. do it. See you soon. All right. See you later, horsey. <laughs> wow, look at how beautiful this ranch is. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this plant. This is rosemary. Ah, 
and it smells so good. Whoa, and rosemary is actually edible, so that means you can eat it. But rosemary, I don't think would taste very good in a popsicle, so I'm not gonna pick it. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Whoa, a lemon tree. Cool, come on. Whoa, look at these lemons. Yeah, these are just like the ones that Mika saw at the pier. Oh, maybe I should pick one. And just maybe I'll add it to the popsicle. Oh, all right, let's see. Give it a little tug. Whoa, look at it. It's so cute and small. <laughs> and these are Meyer lemons. Yeah, they have a little bit of sweetness to them. Okay, I'll put that one right there. And then, uh, let's see. How about this one? Right there. Oh, perfect! <laughs> yeah! Wow! I love this beautiful garden! Look at all of these plants and trees. Hmm. I wonder if I can find a fruit tree so I can pick some fruit for a popsicle for Blippi. Wait a second. Here's one right here. This is a strawberry guava tree. There's different kinds of guava, but this is strawberry guava, which is really yummy. Take a look. See, it's round and kind of red. Ooh, it's so yummy. This will be the perfect ingredient for a popsicle for Blippi. Oh, I can't wait to find more fruit and vegetables. Let's go. garden. It's so amazing. Oh, and do you see this net up here and on the sides? Yeah, that keeps all the critters and the birds from eating all this delicious food. Whoa, and look at this. Do you know what this is? This is spinach. And it's so good for you. Hey, maybe this would be really good in a popsicle. Yeah, spinach a lot of times is inside salads, yummy stuff like that. But popsicles also can have spinach in it. That is so cool. All right, that's probably enough. Let's see what else is around here. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is kale. Ooh, have you ever had a kale chip before? Yeah, you just take these leaves. Yeah, see that? That's a kale leaf and then you put it in the oven. Whoa, and then it gets all crunchy. It's like a normal chip, but with kale. It's so healthy and so yummy. Hey, I bet this popsicle is gonna be the color green. Yeah, that's what we should shoot for. So then she'll have a nice, healthy, yummy popsicle. All right, one more leaf. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> wow, look at this fabulous garden. We are going to find some really good ingredients for Blippi's popsicle. Hmm. Hey, these are beet plants. Beets are really cool because they're super healthy and they're yummy and they're really good for you. They're especially good for your heart. And they're a bright pinkish reddish color that will look really good in a popsicle. Now they're root vegetables, so they're underground. You have to hold on to the leaves and pull to get them out. <sighs> hey, look at that. A nice yummy beet for Blippi's popsicle. Hmm. There's so many different plants here and really cool that you can eat all of them. Like this little carrot. <sighs> so I can show you. Ah, here we go. A nice, delicious red strawberry. Strawberries are a really popular flavor of popsicles and ice cream because they're really, really sweet. Mm, I should probably make sure that this is sweet enough for a popsicle. Mmm, it's perfect. Let's pick some for Blippi. <laughs> 
Woo, here's a good one. Oh, this is a really good one. Oh, this will be so yummy in the popsicles. Let's go make some yummy treats. Hey, Julia, look at what I got. Yeah, and tell me all about it. Well, I got some spinach. Perfect. Mm. <laughs> I have some kale. Yeah. <laughs> And I got a lemon! Oh, what a cute lemon! <laughs> yeah, I really want to make Mika a green popsicle. That sounds amazing! There's not that many green popsicles out there, so I think you're onto something. Yeah! Here, let's get you an apron first. Oh, cool! Yeah! Check out my apron! Whoa! Mom and Pop Shop! Mm -hmm. Alright! <laughs> do you know any recipes we can do with a green popsicle? I do! I have one in mind. I don't think we need the lemon quite yet. Okay. But I think we could use some green apples. Ooh, yum! Can I see? Yeah. Oh, check it out! Yeah, a green apple! Yeah, and do you know the other color of apples? Yeah! Red! <laughs> cool! Awesome! And some green grapes. Whoa! Green grapes! So yummy! <laughs> Alright. And to add a little bit more sweetness, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say a ripe banana. Ooh, a ripe banana? But wait a second. It's brown. Yeah, that means it's super sweet. And oh. that's what you want in a popsicle. Oh, cool. So if your banana has a little bit of brown on it, that's okay. It's just going to be more sweet and yummy. Yep. <laughs> I right. think it's awesome that you want to do vegetables in your popsicle. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the blender. Okay. And then we could just put all the fruits and vegetables in there. Just throw them all in. It's all a right. very powerful blender. <laughs> cool. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's it. And then I'm gonna add some liquid. So anytime you use a blender, you need some liquid. Okay. Or else it's not gonna blend properly. Okay. All right, and what kind of liquid is that? I have some organic apple juice here. Ooh, yum! <laughs> All, right. All right. So excited. I wonder if these are actually gonna be green. <laughs> All right. And it's gonna be pretty loud, so are you ready? All right, I'm All right. ready. Three, two, one. Done? It's done. Wow, it does look green. <laughs> All right. You're gonna love it. Yeah. Oh, do you smell that? Mmm. <laughs> it smells so sweet. Yep. All right. Okay. So now we're gonna put the mixture in this pitcher so it's easier to pour in the molds. Okay. Wow. Check it out. Whoa. Yummy. <laughs> All right. And here are our molds. Oh, the molds. Yeah. I remember these molds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's what we use in our kitchen when we have our big machine. Yeah. But today we're just making some at home pops. So we're using oh. our nifty molds for at home. Oh, cool. At home pops. Here we go. Hey, do you want to count how many popsicles we can make with this with me? Mm -hmm. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. That's a lot of popsicles. All right, and then we just pour it in there? Yep. Would you like to do it or sure. me? All right. I'll, I'll do five and you do five. How's okay. that sound? Okay. Can we get a little foamy? That's okay. Yeah. Now I will pour five as well. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Perfect. I'm so excited to have such nutritious pops. Yeah. Okay, and that's the lid? That's the lid we put on it, and then we just put some sticks on it. Yeah, the sticks. Cool. All right, so every single one of these, you mm -hmm. put a stick in? Yep. Okay. And the great go. part is when you're done with your pop school, you could keep your sticks and maybe make a birdhouse or Whoa. any type of crafting. Yeah, or a marble machine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. So is it ready? That's all ready. Take it to the freezer. All right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Julia. Hi, Mika. Welcome to the kitchen. Oh, thank you so much. So Ooh. What did you find? I have some really yummy ingredients for Blippi's Popsicle. I picked some strawberries. Perfect. And I have some guava. Oh, how cute. <laughs> and I have beets. Beets. Yep. That's a very interesting ingredient. What do you think you're going to make? Beets me. Good one. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought all of these ingredients would look really cool. Mm -hmm. They could be a bright red or pink popsicle in the end. Yeah, they're going to look amazing. So, beets are very 
interesting ingredient. So I think we're gonna have to make an original here. Okay. So first ever popsicle beet. Ooh, cool. So let's get your apron first. Okay, thank you. And let's just start cutting them open. Okay. I think what we're gonna need to do is use our juicer for this recipe. Oh, a juicer. So have you ever seen inside of a beet? Um, I think so. Yeah? Let's see. It's a root vegetable. Yeah, I love that color. Look at that. Go ahead and smell it. Check it out. It's really cool. Hmm, it smells kind of earthy, mm -hmm. but also kind of sweet. Yeah, it's mm. gonna juice real well. So, we're just gonna turn it on. And you could throw the fruit inside. Okay. You see some like blades spinning there in the middle. Yeah. The blades move on the middle and just kind of crush everything and, and there's a sieve so it keeps um, all of the fibers inside. Whoa, look! You can see it's pushing all of the juice out of the berries right into the pitcher. That's so cool! And let's see what happens when we add the beets. Whoa! It smells yummy. Thank you. Okay. There go the beets. Look at how dark it turns. Yeah. What a pretty color. Mm -hmm. It smells really good. I can smell it already. Yes, it does. And last but not least, we have our guava. Guava. And you can just toss the whole thing in there. Wow, okay. There it goes. Ooh, you, you hear that? The <laughs> Whoa. This is gonna be yummy. Yeah. Whoa, that's a lot of juice. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the molds. All right, they're right here. Wow. So these are the molds we use at home. It's a lot of popsicles. Yeah, <laughs> Lippy's gonna love it. Oh yeah. Okay, can I pour? Go yeah. ahead. Okay. Try it out. All right, might get messy. That's all of the fun. Okay. Now to the freezer. And once they're done freezing, you know what we could use? We use compostable packaging. What does that so mean? These bags are compostable. So here at the ranch, you know, everything's sustainable. We don't want to leave any trash behind. So these break down easily in the trash. That's awesome. Yeah. You are being so good to the earth. <laughs> we try to. All right, I'm going to put these in the freezer. Thanks, Julia, for good your luck. help. All right. Whoa. Whoa! Yeah, wasn't that fun, Mika? Yeah, that was awesome! Yeah, I'm so excited to show you the popsicle I made for you. I'm excited to show you the popsicle I made for you. Oh, all right! Let's see! Here we go! Ooh, Flippy! Whoa! Whoa! Wow. Cool color! Yeah, I really like that green! Yeah, what's in yours? Well, I made a popsicle for you from Beast guava, and strawberries. Ooh, yum. Yep. Well, I added spinach, Ooh. kale, apples, <laughs> grapes, what? and bananas. Wow, <laughs> that sounds yummy. Yeah, I bet you'll love it. Yep, let's yep. try it. All Here right. Here you go. Here you go. Thank you, Blippi. You're welcome. All right, let's see. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> That's really yummy. Yum! Good mm. job, Mika! Yeah, you too! Wow. Thank you so much! Thank you so much! <laughs> wow! Wasn't that so much fun making popsicles with the mom and pop shop? Yeah! At Ranch at the Pier! Yeah! <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Yep! Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I! -I Blippi! <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, Julia. See you, Julia. Bye, Lippy. Bye, Mika. Thanks for coming. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy, and look at where I'm at today. Today, I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Have you ever been to a zoo? Yeah, they're so great. You can see big animals, small animals, even insects if you want. Yeah, I am so excited. Let's go. Whoa, we're in the back of a habitat. This is so cool. Whoa, look at this. 
Ooh, looks like some animal snacks. Yum! <laughs> okay, I'll put that down right there. Wow, and this is this animal's real food. Yeah, this is what they eat on the daily. Hey, check it out. See this right here? Yeah, you just put some powder in right there, swirl it around, and this is what this animal loves to eat every day. Okay, let me put this back right here. But hey, did you see what we saw right here? Whoa, looks like a feather. This must come from the animal that's in this habitat. Hmm, yeah, feather. Birds have feathers. And do you see? It's the color pink. Whoa, do you know what animal, bird, is the color pink? Yeah, flamingos. Okay, let me set this down right here. <laughs> and then let's grab the snacks and let's go see if we can find the flamingos. It's John! Hey! Oh, hi, Blippi. How are you? Good. Welcome to our flamingo exhibit. Thank you. What are you doing? I'm um, just raking up the feathers. Oh. And these are our flamingos. Oh, do you see the flamingos? Wow. Do you mind if I get a closer look at them? No, go ahead. All right. Whoa. Hey, let's take a closer look at the flamingos. Oh, hello, flamingos. Hey! Wow. These flamingos are so pretty. Whoa, did you know that when flamingos are born, they're the color white? Yeah, gray, yeah, whitish gray. And then when they get older, they turn the color pink because the food that they eat has a lot of pink in it. Whoa, that is so cool. And you see how tall their legs are? Whoa, they're so long. An adult flamingo, the legs are taller then the whole rest of the body. Wow, that is so crazy. Hey, and do you see how their legs are bending backwards? Yeah, us humans, our legs bend forward. But then, flamingos, their legs bend backwards. And you're probably like, whoa, those are some flexible knees. <laughs> but hey, let me tell you a really cool fact. Do you see that little area right in the center of their legs. Yeah, it looks like their knee. That is actually the flamingo's ankle. Whoa, that's crazy. Well, hey, I think we should throw some of these snacks in the water and see if the flamingos come. Okay. <laughs> All right, here you go. It's the Animal Ambassador Show! Whoa! Another great animal! This place is awesome! Hey, what's your name? I'm Susie. Oh, nice to meet you. And who is this? This is Harry. And Harry is a striped skunk. Wow, striped skunk? Yeah, I see black and white. Why are they striped like that? Well, those stripes allow them to alert any predators in the area that he is a skunk, and if they've been around a skunk before, they definitely would not want to get sprayed again. Oh, yeah. Wait, you said spray. Is that the smell that you sometimes smell when you're driving? You've got it, yeah. It's a really strong smell, and you can't mistake it if you've smelled it before, and you definitely can't mistake it if you've been sprayed. <laughs> yeah. So why do they spray again? It's their way of defending themselves. So if a skunk feels threatened, the first thing that Harry might do is do some forward charges or some handstands. And that says, hey, don't mess with me. More bad things are coming. And if the animal proceeds to come forward, they might get sprayed. Oh, so it sounds like Harry's a gym gymnast with its handstands. <laughs> That's funny. What's Harry eating? Today he is eating insects. He loves bugs, he loves vegetables, fruit. He even eats meat too. Wow, Harry is so cool. I love skunks. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> Another cute animal. Whoa, this is Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Whoa, Eduardo is a three banded armadillo. Whoa, and it looks like He's eating some insects. Those look so yummy. 
for him. <laughs> I actually got permission to go inside, but he's actually probably gonna think my shoes are really cool because they smell. So let me go inside and see if he is curious. Hello? Hey, how are you? Whoa, do you see him? Whoa, he has a very hard shell. Yeah, three banded armadillos are ones that can go all the way in a ball. But he's not doing that right now because that is a defensive mechanism. Yeah, he's actually really comfortable right now. <laughs> hey, do you see how he's just sniffing around? Oh, he is so cute. And his fingernails are so long, or toenails. And he has some cute little hairs coming out the bottom. <laughs> Whoa, look at him go. Whoa, check it out. Look, this is a hawk. But wait a second, who are you? My name is Lindsay. I am an ambassador animal keeper. Wow, what, what's the name of this hawk? This is Cisco. He is a 32-year-old Harris's hawk. Wow, Cisco is so pretty. Wow, I love the wings. Does it have big wings or thin or small? Or? He has big, broad wings that are good for soaring, but not very good for diving fast. Oh, wow. Do they live together or alone? Harris's hawks are very special because they live in family groups with other Hawks. Most birds of prey live by themselves. Oh, wow. And I like Cisco's eyes. What's unique about them? Harris's hawks and other birds of prey have really great eyesight. That is so cool. And I like its beak. Look at it. It's like, shh, it looks so sharp. Can I take a closer look at it? Sure. Whoa. Check out Cisco. Wow. Whoa, so majestic. Wow. Hey, Cisco. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Another amazing animal. Whoa. This is a burrowing owl. Whoa. What's his name? This is Papu. Oh, nice to meet you, Papu. I'm Flippy. Do you see Papu's eyes? They're so big and yellow. Wow. Does that mean they can see good? Owls have excellent eyesight. Wow. And Papu is so small. Is it a little baby? No, Papu is full grown. Whoa. Is it like other owls where they go out at night and look for food? So other owls are nocturnal, which means they're awake at night. But Papu is diurnal. He's awake during the day. Whoa. That is so cool. Papu is so cute. Wow, I just want to pet him. He's so cute, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Can I take a closer look? Sure. Wow, check it out. This is Anahi. Yeah, she is so pretty. Wow. Do you see her tongue poking out? Yeah, she pushes her tongue out of her mouth every now and then to smell. Isn't that crazy? We use our nose to smell, but she uses her tongue to smell. Yeah, and she is a red tail boa constrictor. Whoa, look at her just wrapped up in a tree like this, all comfortable. Whoa, hello. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I hope she is having a great day. Whoa, she is so big. Right now, she is about seven feet tall. Yeah, that's about 2.3 meters long. Whoa, but she actually gets a lot bigger. She'll even get bigger than this. Whoa, yeah. She can get about 12 feet tall. That's about four meters long. Whoa, that is so... Cool! <laughs> wow! Check it out! This is Blue, and Blue is a blue-tongued skink! <laughs> she looks like a snake, doesn't she? Yeah, a snake with legs! <laughs> but she's not. She's actually a lizard! 
Whoa! She is so cool looking. Whoa, do you see her tongue? Yeah, it's the color blue. That makes sense. I bet predators think that that tongue could be poisonous. Yeah! Whoa, and do you see her ears? Wow, I bet she can hear really good. <laughs> Whoa! Jeez, how are you? Are you having a good day? <laughs> Whoa! Wow! Look, this is Tut, and this is Cairo. Whoa, look at them! Hey! They are Egyptian tortoises. Yeah, when I hear tortoise, I think of a big turtle. But these are actually full size. Whoa, where are you two going? I wonder if they're hungry. <laughs> they actually live in the desert. Yeah, whoa, that makes sense because Egyptian tortoises. Whoa, look, they're following each other. Whoa, that looks fun. <laughs> Did you see that? That was a cute penguin! Whoa! Hasn't this been so much fun at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington today? Yeah! I had a lot of fun seeing all these great animals. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Whoa! What a great animal! Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. And today we're at Tanaka Farms in Irvine, California. Tanaka Farms, yeah, is a farm where you get to pick your very own fruits and vegetables. Yeah! No grocery store today. Today, you and I are at the farm. Here we go! Ho oh, ho ho! Check it out! It looks like there's a tractor and two wagons. Let's go! Here at Tanaka Farms, you can ride the tractor on the Tanaka Farm Tractor Tour. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, hey, look. Hey, who Hi. are you? I'm Farmer Kenny. Ooh, Farmer Kenny, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. What do you do here? Oh, I do a little bit of everything, drive the tractor around and take you on a tour. Whoa, can we take a tour? Sure, hop on on. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm in a carrot field. All right, step on over. And you see all this green? That's the top of the carrot. Yeah, you don't eat that. The carrot is actually under the ground. That's why they call it a root vegetable. <laughs> okay, in order to pick a carrot, we actually need to find the carrots. So let's pull these back. Whoa, there's a lot right here. Yeah, see all this orange? Yeah, those are carrots. But they're pretty stuck under there. So let's take this giant pitchfork. Whoa, <laughs> looks like a small fork, but way bigger. And then let's loosen up the soil. Wow, and then we need to pick a carrot. Hey, here's one right here. Wow, check it out. We got a carrot. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's cool. I love carrots, they're the color orange. I love putting them in my salads, my carrot cake, even some soup. Mm, they're so yummy. And they help your eyes be able to see at night. Whoa, pretty cool. <laughs> hey, and actually there's an animal that really loves to eat carrots. Can you think of what animal that is? Huh, let's go find it. Oh, 
Oh, cute bunny. <laughs> Look, it's a cute bunny. Wow, this bunny's name is Andy. Oh, I wonder if Andy wants a carrot from earlier. Here you go, Andy. Huh, maybe Andy's not hungry. That's okay. Let's put Andy down. There you go. All right, here you go, Andy. Whoa, I love bunnies. They are so soft. Hey, this is peanut butter, and the other one, its name is Jelly. Oh, here's another one. Oh, 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 look at all those. Oh, hey, there you go. It's okay. Yeah. Wow, do you see this chicken? This is a modern game chicken. Yeah, and they still lay eggs, although they're really small. Yeah, look at them. Hey, you're so cute. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's put peanut butter down so then peanut butter can eat some of the mealworms. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, oh, and come over here. <laughs> I have something to show you. Wow, right over here. We have some eggs. Yeah, chickens lay eggs. Wow. We have one egg, two eggs, three eggs, and four eggs. These two are big eggs, and these two are small eggs. But these two weren't laid by the modern game chicken. These are still too big for those chickens. <laughs> okay, we'll put these eggs back right here. And let's go check out the chickens some more. <laughs> these chickens sure do love their snack. <laughs> Do you see these? These are carrots. Yeah, they're the color orange. I love the color orange. It's one of my two favorite colors. <laughs> Ooh, and these are onions. Wow, that is a big onion. <laughs> and look at these. These are also onions, but these are called green onions. Yeah, they're both onions, but they look so different. <laughs> wow. This is romaine. I love romaine, it's so healthy. I like to put it in my salads. Wow, and these are beets. Whoa, these are golden beets, and these are just beets. <laughs> oh, look, check these out. These are cute. These are radishes. Do you see the color? It's kind of like a pinkish, Red, yeah, I like that color. Wow, hey, and spinach. These are in a little case, a clear case. Yeah, spinach is green. A lot of these vegetables are the color green, it seems like. Well, see the radishes? Yeah, the part that you eat is the pinkish red color. But up here, this uses photosynthesis to grow the radishes. And this is the color green, but you don't need the top. <laughs> wow, kale. You should try some kale chips sometimes. Yeah, it's like normal chips, but healthier. <laughs> wow, are these drumsticks? <laughs> nope, these are sugar cane. Wow, <laughs> that is so sweet. <laughs> Wow, Japanese eggplant. Wow, these are the color purple. It's a very dark purple. Wow, so cool and healthy. Oh, we got some green celery. We got some cauliflower. Hmm. <laughs> oh, can't forget about the summer squash. Yeah. Wow. And we also have some green bell peppers. Yeah, right next to the red bell peppers. Check it out. Yeah, red, green, red, 
green. <laughs> we'll put those back just right there. <gasps> and last but not least, we got some corn on the cob. I love corn. <laughs> All right, Blippi, we're here. <gasps> I am so excited. Wow, I wonder what type of food this is. Okay, let's see. All right. We could go down this row right okay, here. Okay, this one? All right. Whoa, what are these? Those are watermelons. Watermelons, wow, it looks like there's two different kinds. Yeah, there's these small round ones, those are uh, yellow watermelon. Okay. And those big oblong ones, those are red seeded watermelon. Wow, can we pick a couple? Yeah, let's find some to pick. Okay. So, uh, how about this yellow one right here, okay. right in the middle? This one? Yeah. Okay, how do you do it? Just go oh, ahead and it comes hey, right it off. When it's ready, it comes right off. Wow, look at it. So this watermelon is a circle or a sphere. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. Let me go, I'll go grab a red, a okay. red one. Whoa, that's a big watermelon. Wow, what shape is this? Looks like a sphere to me. Yeah, kind of like an oblong sphere <laughs> or an oval. <laughs> All right, now can we put them down right yeah. here? Okay, wow, these are so nice. Okay, all right, so this is a normal watermelon and we know what the color inside is, but we should just cut it open and check, Let's right? See what it looks like. Wow. Yeah, green on the outside and reddish pink, <laughs> red on the inside. Wow, and do you see the seeds? They're black seeds and white seeds. Whoa, okay, but since this watermelon looked a little different, what's so different about it? It just has a yellow inside flesh. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, because it's called a yellow watermelon. Can we cut it open? Yeah, let's cut it open and see. When they're nice and ready, they pop right open. Yeah. Whoa! I've never seen a watermelon like this before. Look, this is the color yellow. Wow. All right, let's compare them. Yellow, red. Yellow, red. Both are tasty. <laughs> wow. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm, that's sweet. I love the taste of yellow watermelon. <laughs> mm. Mm. What color is your favorite of watermelon? My favorite is yellow. Mm. Has a little bit different taste, but tastes really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me tell you, this tastes really good. Mm -hmm. You wanna try? Strawberry. Mmm. 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 Strawberries are so tasty. Let's go pick some more strawberries. Okay, do you see my container? This is called a clam shell container. Yeah! Do you know what a clam is? Yeah, a clam is a shellfish. And this kind of looks like it. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> okay, let's pick 20 strawberries. Whoa, that's a lot of strawberries. Okay, ready? One. Two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, wow, eight, <laughs> nine, ten strawberries. Okay, we're halfway there. Eleven, twelve, minus one, eleven. <laughs> 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, almost there, 18, <laughs> 19, last one, 20. 20 strawberries in our clamshell container. Good job. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh. Look at 
kind of plants are these? <laughs> I've never seen these before. Wow, look at them, they're so tall. Kind of looks like corn stalks. But I know they're not corn stalks. Wow. <laughs> whoa! whoa. <laughs> that almost hit me! <gasps> we're stopping. All right, Blippi, we're here on Sugarcane Lane. Sugarcane Lane? Did you hear that? Oh, that's what these must be. Sugar canes. Whoa! Okay. All right, Farmer Kenny. All right. What do we do now? We're gonna cut some sugar cane down. Okay. Wow. Hey, these are sugar canes. Look for a nice stock. Whoa. Whoa, that's a sharp knife. <laughs> you just chopped it down. Wow, what's sugar cane used for? You could use it just to suck on. You could use it to press it out, make juice out of it. Ooh. Cook with it. Is that what they make sugar out of? Yeah. Whoa, sugar cane makes sugar. Wow. Okay. Wow, look at that. So wow. normally you just cut off the skin and chew on the inside. Wow. So you can chew on that right there? Yeah. Wow, anytime you use knife, you have to be very careful, right, grown-ups? And only grown-ups can use a knife. Oh, all right. That looks so yummy. Could chew on that little end. All right, let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. I love sugar cane. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. Whoa, this is a monstrous plant. And this is actually a flower. This is a giant flower. And this flower is called a sunflower. Wow, can you tell why it's called a sunflower? Yeah, because it looks like the sun. Whoa, wow. And sunflowers produce seeds. Yummy! Seeds are really healthy. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun learning about fruits, vegetables, and seeds with you at Tanaka Farms in Irvine, California. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I. Flippy! Good job! All right! See you later. Bye bye. <gasps> Whoa! Today we are at the Florida Aquarium, and this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go! Whoa! This area you can actually touch stingrays with two fingers, okay? Come on. I didn't quite get him. Oh, here he is. I touched him. And he's really soft. And it kind of has a little mucus type of feel. Really slippery. Oh, look at that one. Hey. Stingray? Wow, there's so many tropical fish in here. Oh, like that little guy. Ooh. Okay, let's go down here. Oh, look 
Whoa, there's hundreds of them. Look at the angelfish. Hey. Ooh, this is a black and yellow fish. Hello. Keep going. Let's see a little yeah. Oh, what's in here? Oh. Look, they kind of look like rocks. See those? But they're actually alive. Okay. Oh, what do you do right here? Ooh, I think it's time for a picture. They have really long tails. Ooh, let's go on this side. There's a big shark. I have a better place to see all these fish at. Hurry, let's go quick. seen all different types of sea creatures under the aquarium, I got to go on top of the aquarium and do something really special. Whoa! Look at this place. We are on top of the coral reef at the Florida Aquarium. This is a little behind the scenes for you. I've never been on top of an aquarium before. Oh, look at who it is. What's your name? Oh, hi, I'm Eric, and you're Blippi. Yeah, wow. I'm Blippi. Can't so, believe you're visiting. Yeah, what do you do here? Oh, I'm a curator here at the Florida Aquarium. Okay. We're right on top of the coral reef, and curators take care of animals, and we can care, and it means everything from round the clock health care to, guess what? what? Feeding time. Ooh, yeah. I love food. I love food too. It's lunchtime. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is? It is. It's lunch for the sharks, it's lunch for our big turtle flip you're going to meet for all of the thousands of fish that are in our environment here called the Florida Coral Reef. Woohoo! All right, I think it's time. Let's go. Flippy, we're heading over to the feed station right now, and let me introduce you to Alyssa. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, how about you? Good. So we are about to be feeding the deep side of our reef tank. Okay. We got a lot of different fish here, but we have a lot of different fish in the reef that like to eat. So right there. Take a good sniff. That's some fresh Ooh. fish there. Yeah. Yum. Yeah. <laughs> Nice big mackerel. Ew. So what we'll have you do is put on some gloves. Oh, I should have done that first. <laughs> it's super simple. Take a big scoop of fish. Okay. And you're just gonna throw it out into the reef. And you'll oh. see a bunch of fish swim out. All in four. Yeah. All right. Well, so can I try now? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay. I think all one is all I need. Big scoop. Yeah. Uh, what's in here? 
exactly. Squid. So right there we have some squid. Uh -huh. We have some herring. We have clam and night smelt. Oh, a whole mix. Can I sneak a little for myself? Yeah, I'm lunch is not going to come fast. <laughs> All right, where to? Over this way, yep. right field. That's a sports turn. Yeah. Good job. That looks tasty. All that right. looks like some good squid and mackerel there. Yeah. Three, two, one. Let it fly. Yeah. Hey, Bolivia, you're doing a great job. Now let's go down below and see what it looks like to be a fish underwater watching all that food come down. Okay, Ready? let's go. Let's go. Alyssa, take us from here. After feeding all of the sea creatures from above the aquarium, Eric took me back down below so we could watch all of the sea creatures eat all of the food I just fed them. It was so spectacular. And then I went on over to the wetlands exhibit. Whoa! Look! A duck! It's so cute! Do you see it? Quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 quack. Can you make the sound of a duck? Quack, quack, quack. This area is where they have the otters. Look. Whoa. Look at them do backflips. This place is so beautiful! Whoa! Whoa! A python! A python! Whoa! Look how big it is! Jeez, that's scary! Come on! Ooh, some cute birds over here! These are spoonbills! And they're white and pink. Look, he's looking for food. Whoa. fish are so big. Whoa, get really close. Can you see it? <sighs> Such a big fish. And here's some more fish. Go up really close to the glass. Let's see what else they have here. I had such a great time at the Florida Aquarium. Next time you're in Tampa, Florida, you can go check out some sea life.